We begin tonight in Luzerne County, where a group of Holy Redeemer High School students jumped into action this afternoon after their bus driver lost consciousness behind the wheel while the vehicle was moving. Newswatch 16's Carmela Madaloni spoke with those quick thinking students. She joins us live now with the details of their harrowing story. Carmela. Hi, Scott and Lisa. Quite the story here. Within seconds of the first student realizing there was a problem with the driver to the time 911 was called, these kids wasted no time. It happened on Blackman Street in Wilkesbury Township. So I looked up front and I could see uh, the bus driver's face in his mirror and his head was back. I ran up front. I said, are you OK? And he wasn't responding. About a dozen students from Holy Redeemer High School were on the bus when the driver suffered a medical issue and lost consciousness. I took his seatbelt off, loosened his jacket and shirt, uh, tried to talk to him, but he couldn't talk. Um, and then we kept moving back and crushing the car behind us. So I put my hands on the brake and then Aiden stepped in while I moved him out of the seat. After Ryan got, got on the brakes first of the bus, he started to help the bus driver out and then I was on the brakes and I turned the bus off. Lainey Conway, a sophomore, called for help. I kind of looked around and I'm like, well, there's no adult here anymore. So we're going to have to like pick up, pick this up. We have to we kind of have to go like there's no one else that's going to be able to do it. So we just all kind of work together. And Once the students got the bus in park, the rest was natural instinct. I'm part of the U.S. Naval Sea Cadet Corps. Uh, the trains I get to do with them have been preparing me for situations like this. Navy is a career I want to pursue and it's really helped me. This situation is a big part of what I'll probably end up doing. I am a newly certified lifeguard um, and part of my training is that we were supposed to help people even if we're not at, not at work. I'm just glad that we didn't do anything to make it worse. I'm just glad that it ended. I think it ended in the way it could have like best possibly ended. So I'm just glad that everyone's okay. Now the bus belongs to Crestwood School District. That's where the driver works. He's still in the hospital and his condition tonight is still unknown. No other injuries were reported in big thanks to those students. Of course, parents of those students also beaming with pride tonight. Carmela Mataloni, Newswatch 16, Scott and Lisa.